I'm Lady T506. Welcome to my channel. Hello everyone. Today we're going to be doing the Braxton Family Values Episode 8 review. Show starts off. Tony has been contacted by Playboy to pose for them, and she's like she wants to do it, but she's not for sure should she do it. So she asks her sister's advice. Tracy, she's already. If you ask me, she was jealous. She's like, that's one more thing Tony gets. Tony the superstar, but oh well. Like I mean, be a little happy for your sister. But anyways, she sits, you know, her sister down and. Tamar was like, no, I don't think you should do this. Look what I got at the bookstore. What if your son's at school and his friends say, ain't this your mom? How you gonna feel about it? And, you know, she's taking this in. She's like, well, maybe I should. But everybody else was like, girl, yeah, you should do it. I would do it. And, you know, Tamar was asking Trina, Gabe will let you post for Playboy? She was like, yeah, he would let me post for Playboy. Sure, certainly. So... She's, she says she needs to sleep on it. They trying to get Miss Evelyn on a blind date because Miss Evelyn hasn't been on a date in like five, ten years. So she said all the things a man has to qualify and to ha have a date with her. He has to be, you know, financially stable. He has to be tall. He has to walk like Denzel, which I'm not really sure where she's going to find this man at, but sure. They set her up on a date. She goes to the restaurant and she's waiting. She's already mad because he's late. And she was like, I hope no man comes in here with no hip hop gear on. He has to have a suit and tie. First man that walks in, he got on, I believe it was a fat farm sweatsuit piece. And he walks up to her and she's like, oh Lord. And he's like, I'm looking for Jones or so. She's like, oh no, that's not me. She's like, oh thank goodness that wasn't a man for me. But, you know, her date finally shows up. It's an older white gentleman. And I guess she hasn't dated any white men before. But they sit down. She's like, you know, he got on the suit. And he didn't brought her flowers. So, hey, maybe this date ain't going to be so bad. So, they sit at their table. She orders a water and I think a Diet Coke. He orders, I think, scotch on the rocks. He ordered some kind of alcohol beverage. And she's like thinking, that's straight one. It's only one in the afternoon and you already drinking? This ain't going to be good. So they talking and talking. And the more they talking, the more he's drinking. He ain't had a good five, six drinks. Then he proceeds to ask her, you want to go to North Carolina? You have known Miss Evelyn all of two hours. And now you're trying to take her to North Carolina overnight? And she's like, that's an overnight trip. Mm -mm, I can't do that. Mm -mm, we don't even know each other. So that she gives him, you know, her number and I guess he's supposed to call on it. We get back together with the sisters. You know, Tony she goes not the sisters, but Tony goes to see Vince to, you know, say, you know, I don't know if I should be doing this, Playboy. He's like, you know, Playboy and contact you four times and you know and she's thinking, Well that makes you know, me feel oh good because you know, that means somebody thinks my body look nice, I'm still able to work and everything. We gonna get over to Tamar because she's the one that cele uh, not a celebration but a what's it called? Um appreciation party for Vince for all he's doing for her and being a good husband. And I was like, Oh, Tamar, that's so nice of you doing that for Vince until she said I'm going to do this party for him so that he can get started on getting my record out there. And I was like, Tamar, ain't that some mess right there? How you go throw an appreciation party for somebody, but you want something out of the deal, too? That was supposed to be, for, you supposed to do something for Vince and Vince only, you know, hey, baby, this is, you know, party for you for, you know, being a good husband and being, you know, supportive of me. Not let me get something out of this deal. No, so she takes Tawanda and Trina to go belly dancing. As soon as they get there, Tamar, she's wanting to tell the instructor how she wants to dance. Because she's up there moving her arms and stuff like this while she's belly dancing. And the instructor let her know, hey, when you move your arms like that, 
people are gonna be focused on your arms not the belly dance and she was like well when I'm dancing people taking pictures of me I want to be like this not like this so the belly dance was like this woman paying her money for here I'm just I had difficult customers before customers before before I'm let it slide and apparently Trina she's not the best of the dancer so it was taking her a minute to get the steps in line and before you know it I don't know why Tamar decided to get a belly dance instruction because she was doing it telling everybody what dance she wanted to do how she, they should do it how they should point their toes how they should turn their head slightly to the left and have one piece of hair to the side I'm just playing but that's how it seemed so it's the night for the party they get there Tamar sitting down next to Vince and you know belly dancers come out and I believe one of them was a good three months pregnant now I don't know who screened these girls to come in to belly dance or what but yes one of them was clearly pregnant I I'm, I was like is she pregnant I didn't know if she just had been working out in a while or was she pregnant she looked pregnant and the other people suspected she was pregnant too so it's time for Tamar you know Trina and Twana to do that dance they get up there and they did a nice job so Tony Tony Tawana, Tamar gets the present she has for Vincent. And this is where we go skip back because Tamar like told Tony, well maybe before you post for Playboy, you should get some pictures done. You know, they get to the little studio and Tony's like, I'm not getting naked in front of this man. I don't know him. I'm not sitting on that bed over there. And Tamar's like, well I did want to get some pictures done. That's the only reason Tamar was mad about Tony posing for Playboy because she wanted to do something similar to that. You know, we're getting back to the party. It's time for her to get her present events. She gives him a picture of him, her like laying down and she has like this sheet covering up parts of her body. And maybe that's just me, but maybe she should have did that in the privacy of their home when it was just the two of them. You got your sisters, your mama, your nephews, your niece. And everybody there, friends, everybody, staff, everybody's there, and you are presenting your husband with this picture. And to me, Vince looked a slight tad uncomfortable and mad that she did that. I don't know. Well, that's pretty much what happened on the video, on the episode. If you're doing videos similar to this, you can post it as a video response. And I want to thank all my subscribers and people who watch my video and come up, comment on my video. I want you to rate, comment, subscribe, and tell a friend. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.